What's up you guys, my name is Peekit Fire and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon White. In this episode we will continue with this route and just like continue on and see what's in here. Um, up first is, well we'll just fight this Pokemon that we haven't, I think we've seen this before, we have seen this before. This is called an Among Us in, or Among Us <laughs> in, in English I think. Um, yeah, there's two of them here, I'll fight the one off screen. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that there's two of them here. Um, just use the Psychic or Flying or even Fire types and it will die. Um, fight this trainer right here and he's got an interesting Pokemon. Um, well, we've seen it also before. Um, it's gonna be a Sock. <laughs> um, it was a Dagaki in, um, in Japanese. Now it's called Sock. It's an S-A-W-K, I think. Um, this one doesn't have Sturdy, so you can really use any move to, um, to kill it without fearing of getting hurt. I mean, as long as you're faster. So, hip that sock. <laughs> so much fun to say. Um, it's now dead. Um, let me fight this guy off screen. I, hang on. There we go. I um, get the Poke Pokeballs here, which is a Hyper Potion right there. And that last one is the Dawnstone. Um, if you haven't evolved your Minchino or Shalarmi in Japanese, um, now is the time to do that. Um, I'm gonna skip this guy. Yeah, he didn't have that like great Pokemon. They're all they're all average. I right, so once that fire, um, hiker's done, um, go down here and talk to this guy. Uh, he does have a, a cool item, which is a Dust Stone. Um, if you have a Lamb Lampent, I think um, you can now involve it into a Chandelure. I, I'm really loving the names for this, the, these new Pokemon. Um, right there is uh, TM5, which is for you shouldn't you shouldn't use it in game. It's more for competitive battles, but um, yeah, it's there when you need it. Um, just fight this girl. Yeah, this is all gonna be full of battles. Uh, there's really nothing, nothing that we can do here except fight these guys. Just because I am really severely under leveled for the Pokemon League. Um, yeah, let's use Air Slash from this guy. This guy's name is Sauce Buck in English. Um, buck is, of course, uh, like a term for another term for deer. Uh, sauce comes from the uh, summer, autumn, winter, spring um, initials. So, yeah, Brunjol. Uh, I do believe his her name is Jellicent. <laughs> Let's send in Lacoste to just take care of this guy. And when I was recording this, I my phone did ring. So I just mashed the A button and I used Dig. I mean, if it was a crit, it would have been fine, but of course <laughs> it didn't kill this guy. So I was kind of I was kind of angry about that just a little bit. Um, I mean, Brian is super effective, but it wasn't enough to kill me. Luckily, uh, I was kind of <laughs> wondering why that happened. But um, just one crunch from the cost is gonna kill. Um, this jelly scent right here. So yeah, They're, all the Pokemon that you're gonna fight here are fully, almost fully evolved. Um, they are kind of tough, especially once you get to Victory Road. So you have to be sure to be prepared once you get there. Um, just go down this little ledge right there to get this full restore right there. Uh, let me let me put on a repel just in case I don't want to fight any Pokemon here. Uh, let's use a super repel. There we go. Uh, now we're gonna fight that next trainer right there, the veteran. Um, he is actually kind of tough. Um, oh, we could have actually gone up there, and he wouldn't have cared. <laughs> I should have just done that. Um, I guess this one's skippable. I uh, I do believe he, this guy has. Yeah, he has three Pokemon that are kind of interesting. Uh, the first one is, of course, the Sun Bear, or Bay Arctic, <laughs> in ja in English. I'm I'm looking it up like, uh, while I'm recording this. Some of these names are really cool, and I've said that hundreds of times before. Um, Flash Cannon is not enough to kill this guy, unfortunately, which is weird. I never knew that um, the Arctic had a really high um, special attack or special defense, so that that really surprised me. Um, the last time that I fought this, I um, my Nazca did die, so <laughs> it, let's try not to do that. Um, just be careful. Just use Fire Pokemon. Um, I do believe they're physically defensive, so that's a good idea to do. There we go, now that that's, that guy's dead, um, he's gonna send in uh, a Seismitoad. 
Uh, um, of course, I told you guys way, way back then, to always carry a grass type attack just to take care of these guys because they can get annoying. Especially, um, this Seismic Toad has an ability called Poison Touch, which poisons you with any type of contact moves. So, be very careful when taking care of these if you don't have a grass move. Any, any grass move will take care of this guy. So, there we go. That's more than enough to make my, um, Zenki level up. Or Samurott. <laughs> okay, that's the only, that's the only name that I don't like right now. Um, right, we're gonna send in Ruby to take care of this last Pokemon. And hang on, let me actually check Soon Bear or Oh, it's actually got decent stats. Um this guy, um make sure you take care of this really quickly. He is kinda slow, but uh he's very offensive, so take care of him with fire attacks. That's his only weakness. Um it's the evolved form of the Kabaruma or Kaba Blast. I think. <laughs> I can't remember. Um once that once that's done, well, we can get to the fun part of this video. Um, oh yes, it is autumn. It's it's March now. It's been a while since I recorded new stuff here. So yeah, just keep heading straight here. And if you listen to the music, um, you'll start to see or hear different parts or layers added into here. So yeah, it'll just check if you see if you have all the gym badges, you know, like in the past um, Pokemon games. So yeah, there's the drum parts. Now that we're in this first part. And oh, and a couple of these areas, um, there are places where you can find um, Pokemon like here. So make sure you have repels if you don't want to fight them. There you go, the timpani, along with the drum part. And there's the first um, backing part right there, and it's it's really cool. I, I love how they did that. I don't think they did this for um for the other games. But um, this guy actually doesn't say anything, or at least I don't understand what he's saying, so let's just skip him for now. Alright, last one, um, not last one, but this is the fourth one, is it? It's the fifth one. Um, this bass part with the harmony, what's added here? There's some strings, some synth stuff in the back. Um, not, okay, this, this next one is actually really cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's actually really fun. It reminds me of like Legend of Zelda, um, the Wind Waker. Um, and that the wind temple <laughs> you just say here it's, it's so cool it must be a really really strong um, gust of wind oh wait, no it, it reminds me of that um one five gum commercials <laughs> uh, oh Pokemon okay um this was actually kind of well it's tougher to get past um, than the other other sections so just be careful don't lose yourself it's it's not that bad uh, and the last one, it's right here. Uh, yep. The last gym area place. Um, but before we do that, can you fly? Wait, I think I have to go back. Yeah. Um, here you can fly away. Um, we're gonna do something else before uh, we go through Victory Road. So let's go pick Nazca and fly. And I can't use that there. Oh yeah, because this isn't. This isn't outside for some reason. Um, go here in Victory Road and just fly away. We're gonna head towards this city right here, right there, right there. There we go. Um, we now that we've unlocked um, Victory Road, we actually unlocked a new Pokemon that we can get. Of course, I'm not gonna get this Pokemon. Let me just heal up. And yeah, if you follow this route up here, you'll see something cool. Isn't that cool? <laughs> and then the rain comes. Right there. Um, so yeah, there's a new Pokemon here that we can see. I mean, we're not going to encounter it, but we will see it here. Uh, if you go past this house, this old lady will talk to you. Um, I guess I'll go over what's here. Um, this is the Kami Trio in un the Unova region. Um, the Kami Trio is kind of like the like this the, the legendary beast in um, gold and all that, the legendary birds. Um, these guys are based on Japanese mythology. Um, there, it's if you have um, Pokemon Black, you'll have Tornadus, which is based on the uh, wind uh, wind god um, Fujin. If you have Pokemon White, which is what the one I have, you'll have you'll fight Thunderous, um, which is uh, the god of wait no, god of wind is 
Yeah, Fujin and then Raijin, the God of Thunder. There you go. Once you get all of them in both, um, if you trade them, you'll get Landorus in an, as another area. So yeah, um, let's just follow this cut. Woo! So yeah, if you you might have guessed that. This is going to be really annoying. He's a roamer, so he's going to be in a random route somewhere. And he's the only person, that, a Pokemon that I will use a Master Ball with. So, yeah, I'm not going to find him yet, because it's so much harder to find him in this version. So, we're going to skip that for now. That's why I didn't put up the um, the stats, because we won't find him for a very long while. I don't even plan on doing it, but uh, I might. I, I don't know. So, yeah. Um, we're back on Victory Road, and I'll stop it right here, right, for this episode. So, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time, right?